Hey there, besties. We have a new series from Tickety Talk. It is people who are living in their cars. So let's go ahead and see what they got to say. Maybe there's some tips that some of us could utilize. I've been living in my car for almost two years, and I've been sleeping in this thing wrong the whole time. I'm about to go on a cross-country road trip, and I need to change the way I've been sleeping in here. So we have to stay cold at nighttime, and that is not impossible. You're not going to have that happen, but with the daytime, you have these reflectors up all day, and you park in the shade. Um, and the reason why is because we, items keep residual heat. So even this in the daytime will keep this heat. So when you try to cool down in the nighttime, it's impossible. Everything around you is hot. So I have two fans running at nighttime hooked up to my Bluetti over there. I have the windows are cracked. As you can see, I have the reflectors going. And these are on all day where I park at to reduce the heat by 20% um, or 20 degrees, I mean. Uh and the silver side cools the car, black side heats the car, and also keep in the shade as much as possible. So it really helps to wear something light at nighttime. That's how you keep cool. Also, um, holding onto a cold, fresh water bottle. Put it on your back when you sleep. Hi, I'm Brooke, and I live full-time in my SUV with my dog, Pippa. And this is quite literally how I poop. This is how I do it. I get a tall kitchen bag. I find that this size... For some reason just works the best then i rip the seam on the side so i can adjust it so it can fit my body i then just will simply pull it around my body squat down just like you would if you were outside pull it up in the front in case i also need to pee and then just poop right in the bag then i have some rocks in here to show you i tie off the bag as close to the poop as possible so it's nice and sealed in there then i put it into a tupperware container where i also store my dog's poop for the day and it keeps the smell out then i obviously go throw this away as soon as i possibly can so i hope this helps bye One of the biggest mistakes that people make, including myself, is that you turn the heat on a lot when you go to bed because you know you're going to sweat when you sleep. And I often wake up in the middle of the night sweating and I'm barely wrapped up right now. So basically what's going to happen is it's hot in here. I have to have the window cracked a certain amount and I'm basically baking myself while it's going to get really cold tonight and it's going to feel it in here. And then I'm going to have to wake up in the middle of the night cold and sweat sweat first and then cold later <laughs> like so don't make that mistake so i got the knock today yeah so we got kicked out of Centaro. i thought being a security officer maybe another security officer would have my back like the other hospital that i went to where they literally like circled my car protected me all night but no this one literally had to pick on me and as it was one of the only cars in the parking lot all the way in the back of the emptiest parking lot i've ever been to in a hospital and tell me to leave. I tell you, how dare the daggone hospital ask you to leave looking like potentially a vagrant in the parking lot. At night when I'm going to sleep in my car, I lock my car with my keys. And that sets my alarm system. You can see it flashing right there. I have to use my keys to unlock my car and then I use the door to immediately lock it right after. 
now I can get out freely without triggering the alarm, which I definitely have done a few times. I have my stuff, now it's time to shower. You ready? <laughs> Three reasons why I decided to live in a Tesla over a van. The most significant reason for me is free charging. I've traveled all over the US and Canada and have hardly paid a dime. Number two, I travel with my dog full time, so this is essential. Tesla has dog mode, which keeps the cabin at the desired temperature and locks all the windows. I also have camp mode, which keeps the heat on while I sleep. Number three, being a solo female traveler means that I have to be very conscious of my safety at all times. I have cameras running 24 seven and anyone coming near my car without a key will receive this message. And even though nobody asks, I have a fourth reason. Teslas are incredibly stealthy and probably the last place you'd ever or suspect somebody to be sleeping in the car. Keep going. No matter how hard things are right now, no matter how stuck you feel, no matter how many nights you've spent crying or wishing things were different, no matter how depressed and hopeless you feel, keep going. Here is my nighttime routine while living out of my car. First up, I go to the bathroom, take care of all my bathroom essentials, then I change into something more comfy. Then I hang up my mirror and then plug in my fan because it can get pretty hot in here. Then I plug in my salt lamp for some direct lighting so that I can take off my makeup. Next, I fill up my essential oil diffuser with some sleep essential oils and then plug it into the Jackery. The Jackery also charges my phone at night, so I'll plug in my phone before I go to bed. And then once it gets darker, I'll plug in my string lights and it gets super cozy. I showed y'all how I wash my ass. Y'all wouldn't have any more goddamn questions about it. Law detector determined that was a lie. So I've been doing this for about two years. Uh, that door's locked. And I have about five stores in rotation and that door's locked too. Going to the next door. All right, pause to read the text to answer your questions because that's a lot of talking. There you have it, folks. It's really not that difficult. Somebody asked me if I care that, you know, people are walking in. I don't give a fuck. I'm trying to make sure my ass don't stand, okay? <laughs> that is top priority. So I do not care. Y'all can come on in, all right? We can all wash our ass together. Anyway. Oh, one last thing. Y'all want to know what kind of soap I use. It's always Dr. Bronner's for me. They have so many different scents. My favorite is peppermint, but it makes my coochie burn. I'm giving away this free bottle of the Dr. Bronner's peppermint. And all you have to do is comment fire crotch so that you can win and your coochie can burn like mine too. <laughs> Hey guys, this is me, day 437, living in the car with my dog. At this point, I'm thinking nothing's ever going to get better. How am I going to get out of this situation? Millie was the only thing that kept me going for a long time, but it wasn't until I started making videos like this and connecting with you guys that I was finally able to not only get an apartment for me and Millie, but I was able to get a P.O. box so you guys can send us anything that you want, including mail or art, or even if you want to tell me your story, I would love to share everything you send us on here here's the thing about all these people thus far that i found on here most of them do not have kids so if this is what people are doing and they're making it work however they need to make it work then good for them okay i don't see many kids with the people that do this I was living in my car for a year because my dad kicked me out this little guy made sleeping in the car way more comfortable i was living in Some of y'all are going to think this is disgusting, but so one of the tricks that my grandmother taught me when I was younger, when we didn't have money, was you have a bag of fruit and then you put crackers in it, a little bit of sugar and a little bit of milk and you have cracker fruit cereal. Hmm. This is how I felt overnight. I live in my car. Let's go grocery shopping. First, we had the Dollar Tree. Well, we only went to the Dollar Tree and we got all these amazing things. There's so many meals here. Like y'all don't even know. I'm so excited. So cheap too. I live in my car, let's go grocery This shopping. is what my morning looks like living in my car. It was so cold and snowy when I woke up, so I immediately turned on the campfire. And Lotus was so incredibly tired this morning, and it was kind of nice because he let me sleep in. When I finally summoned the motivation, I took down all my window shades and mentally prepared myself to face the cold. And then I got all my gear out and began to bundle up. Mornings like these can be very unmotivational just because it's very hard to leave the warm, cozy car. That being said, I want to be clear that this is a lifestyle that I've chosen and I enjoy. We slept overnight in a hotel parking lot, and it was really 
excited about this because I had a huge empty lot to walk with this. For breakfast, I'm making myself the warmest and easiest thing I can think of, which is a toasty cream cheese bagel. You can never ever go wrong with a bagel. While I did this, Lotus worked on his yoga and he's perfected the downward dog. To warm myself up before really starting the day, I needed a chai latte. And I was really excited to use this packet I've been saving for a chilly day. This literally tasted just like Christmas. It was one of the best drinks I've ever had. Even Lotus wanted some. Then of course I had to feed the boy breakfast and suddenly he just started leaking. It's really weird. He leaks. And because I'm the best mom ever, I made his favorite dessert, carrot slushy. Because Lotus is literally a snow addict. This is what my mom... All right, so I drive a Nissan Altima, and this is my key here. I want to take the key apart, pressing the button in the back, and we're going to climb to the back. Yes! All right, now we're in the back here. We're going to take this little flap. My key is going to go inside of this hole here. We're going to press that button and let my seat down. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and pull this seat down here, and then I'm just going to pull this out. This is my sleeping bag, and here's a pillow here. Got that out, and I just sleep inside here. So what I do typically, I just climb in here, open this part up, here, here. I put my legs in the trunk, as you guys can see, and I go to sleep. It's actually very interesting and fascinating to watch these videos of these people that, one, most of them ch are choosing to live in their car. Uh, a few of them, their circumstances have put them in their car, and they're accepting what they're doing. They don't have an issue with it, and they're making it work, and they're coming up with all these ideas, and they're saving money for all of the people that are complaining about the rent is too high, and this is too high, and that's too high. They've made, they found a way to make it work. This actually is actually a decent series, in my opinion, that I am seeing. I am concerned personally. I would be concerned being out in the elements, even though you're in your car with crazy people, people getting towed or people banging on your car or just strangers just trying to mess with your car, especially given all of the jackings that we see in all these different places. But they got a way to be around it. They all good in the hood with it. Then child have at it. If that's how they can do what they need to do until they get to where they need to be and go ahead and save money and get everything, all their needs are met. Good on them. No asking anyone, no begging anyone or anything like that. So anyway, that's it. That's all for this series. But of course, there will be more. Appreciate you if you made it this far. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Like this daggone video. Make sure you comment. I'll see you all in the next one. Good night. Pick a bed and go to sleep. If you're doing it, stop it. Get some help. Bye-bye.